Hey guys, and welcome back to West of Loathing. In the last episode, I got destroyed by a stench snake. He he wrecked my face pretty pretty badly. So I'm gonna gonna re-equip the deputy pistol and then explore a bit. Maybe get a little bit better on my skills. Maybe get more some more points in the dead eye before I uh, try and. Um, Try and fight that snake again. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton charging towards the northwest. It doesn't have seemed to notice you or anything else, really. We're gonna attack it. We got the jump on it this time. Alright, 7 damage. 19. Wow, she's strong. I got skull chips. Nice job. Sweet. Fort Cowardice. Gonna harvest that. Uh, I know my, I haven't really been putting my harvest skills to the use. Um, I haven't really found anything that increases my moxie. Is it moxie? Uh, moxie's my uh, pistol damage. Yeah. So, just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Fort Cowardice. Let's enter this place. You climb up the watch there and look around. Nice view from up there. Let's go to administration. Cabinet is mostly empty, but there's a handful of boring personal records in the back of one drawer. Examine them. They're incredibly boring. No, really, I want details. Fine, you read one. Patricia Smith, Secretary, Pair Grade C5. Uh, I don't know what data. Miss. What? Accused six days? Oh. I usually look at the same ones before. I can't get enough! Okay, let's, let's leave that place. This is once a reception desk, but now the appropriate thing for it is to receive a free trump to the dump. Free trump to the dump. Free trip to the dump. In general, this is a door. More specifically, this is the door to the general's office. And more specifically, it's a locked door to the general's office. Okay, so I can't do anything. The cupboard is bare, and also it's not really a cupboard. That doesn't look like so. There's still, looks like there's still some good mess left. Take it. I got military, blah, 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 blah. military grade whiskey, hard tack, and I got another hard tack as well. Blech. Uh, stuff is beyond. Spice rack. I've got shaker of salt, Peter. All right, that's what I need for that quest. You hear several goblins snoring inside this tent. Let's go then, gun for blazing. All right, we got couple goblins here. Should be able to take out the ones. I take less damage from pistol shots, so we'll do that. Okay, you're gonna provide a building in front of me. So they shoot the building instead of me. <laughs> I don't know how actually that works. Oh, it works! Okay, sweet. Um, so take less damage from pistol shots, it looks like. So I'm shooting these guys. Okay, <laughs> I do no damage with the pistol. I just noticed. The Susie does 16. That's insane. She's strong. Susie is a strong one. You hero <laughs> heroically defeated the sleeping gums who were guarding their beds. Head into the tent. The footlocker. Oh, footlocker on this footlocker. The lock on this footlocker has rusted away to almost nothing. Kick it open. The lock on this footlocker has rusted away to almost nothing. I've got smelling salts. I got a silver bullet. Ooh. What is this silver bullet for? Uh, this item is used in combat. Oh, cool and smooth as a mountain stream propelled by gunpowder through the flesh of your enemies. Cool. I can't open that because it's locked. And another one. Army field trauma kit. Cool. Uh, let's go to this place. Based on the papers and anatomical the <sighs> diagram scattered across the surface, you're guessing this desk belonged to Fort Cowardice Nurse. Look at papers. The papers are mostly boring, medical racers, dental Wow. Limitations, antibiotics that haven't been discovered yet, that kind of thing. Hey wait, what's this? This looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Uh a bunch of disgusting drawings of slice open bodies. Alright, so I have 
thing that I'm guessing is a set of marching orders from before all the armies marching orders were marched back east just as fast your little lily livered yellow belly feet can go ya yeah. cowards uh, this is a march. This is a set of marching orders directing a rifle division to Fort Alden, north of Dirtwater. I'm, I'm guessing they're they're all dead. The fort's called All Dead. The shelf is still some unlooted medical supplies on it. Render them looted. We've got two more army field trauma kits. We've got military grade whiskey. Uh, this safe is labeled control substances. Some to be where they store really effective stuff. Safe cracking. Don't have safe cracking. The sign has Kravy Goblin writing on it. There's a hole here. This leads into a cave. This must be how the goblins got into the fort. Go down the ladder. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, ringing this triangle would probably rile up a goblin or two. This opening quickly narrows to a point where only a goblin could get through. Uh, let's ring it. We got the jump on him this time. Gonna hit him with a melee attack since it does a bit more damage. Build another thing in front of me. So he shoots me. Or he shoots my cover, basically. And then I will continue to... I'll snake whip him. This is 10 damage. And does more poison because of my passive. I should have figured. Huh. Got a goblin sandwich... Goblin Chigori and Goblin Trousers. I could probably put it on the yeah. Oh, it gives me armor, but doesn't give me moxie. I mean, unequip those. Takes away some moxie. I don't want anything that would take away moxie. Please, thank you. Alright. Um, ba -da -ba -da, pistol whip. This guy. Woo! 10 damage. Whoops! Oh well, that's fine. What are you doing? Oh, it threw a bean at me! 5 to 6 damage. I need to upgrade my moxie, I just realized. I'm not doing any damage with my pistol. Or I need to find a pistol. That did a lot of damage to me. But, that's fine. Can I just keep doing this? I can. Um. Let me not do that. Let me wander. Let me wander a bit. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and a pair of broken spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end tear. Tragic. Look through the wreckage. You pour over the detritus and manage to find exactly one book that's both undestroyed and remotely interesting to you. The Modern Snake Oiler. Ooh, nice. Let me read it. As an article entired, oh, gives bad medicine. Combat that reduces target. Moxie. There's a letter to the editor. Fan the hammer. Or good medicine. Huh. What if you shoot somebody three times instead of just once? Hmm. That probably costs AP. Good medicine gives me more medicine. I don't have a healer, so let me do that. You practice making this snake oil concoction to heal you can do it with your eyes closed. Nice! Good medicine. When you open your eyes again, it appears someone has stolen your magazine. Scoundrel! They stole my medicine! It's an unusually sized cannonball. What? A demi calvern cannonball? Cannonball is made to sit a David Calvern. Culvernin. I don't know if I'm saying that for not. Ugh. A cannon with a bore diameter of 10 centimeters. No demi less, no demi more. Ugh. That's funny. I'll take it with me. Maybe it's uh, something I need. I could just use the map. Why am I not doing that? Let's go to the railboat camp because I'm pretty sure something else can get discovered here. Uh, a nearby cloud of dust turns into turns out to be a bandit on a horse, riding for leather. What? 
unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. You pull up your horse's side letters and match your speed. Hey, what's up? Where's the fire? Get bent or and or loss. Trick her out of her boots? What? Get neither. Oh. Uh, Alright then. We got a pistol whip. Snake whip. Apologies. Uh, Susie, if you please. Build some cover for me. Because she has a gun. She's going to shoot my cover. Hey, that's how you that's how you do things in this party of mine. I do no damage. I'm kind of frustrated that I do no damage. Susie does 15. I do poison, but I need to find a better pistol. I got high tail and boots. What does that do? These boots are perfect for. Dodging whatever's coming at you and getting out of dodge. Ooh, I got some speed and the uh, AP. Huh. Just hold your horses. Oh, there's people talking on the, the railroad. There's a guy sleeping here. Look the guy. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? Bought it from this gal who runs a store down south. Her name is Button Willow. Button Willow make something. Where's this store exactly? Can't, oh, you can't miss it. It's right between a cactus and a different cactus. Nice. He points to the spot on your map. You discovered a map location. Button Willow Mick. Kit Rick Store. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> she's not much of a track laid, but she's an expert whistler. Alright. You approach the billiard looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there. Who's in charge of this outfit? Well, if I'm being terrible, I'd say it's that fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. But it's the man next to the huge pile of rocks. And you're not? He smiles. Then I'd say that paper-backed idiot over there is... <coughs> Excuse me. And the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alrighty, thanks. Nice. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I could do to help. You wanna know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy. Huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped at it on like a shot. You know what I've learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these or operations is the most amazing. Yeah, is the most amazing pain in the butt you'll ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Swell. Uh, get some boss now? Man looks you up and down. Well, I suppose you can't be any worse than the last clown. He extends his hand. Name's me. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing the giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain path, so we can't reroute around even if it's, even if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations. We could clear, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'd take a lot of dynamite. Oh, years worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies just as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. Alright, I'll get that back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over at Gustavin Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting lay of the line and honing your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan in to blah, blah, plan to go in guns blazing. Can't read. Apologies. We don't need specific dynamite though. Any you can lay your hands on will be fine. So as long as there's enough of it, I'll look into it. Alright. So, I'm actually going to end this episode a little early. I didn't realize that it was nearly 2 in the morning. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm going to try and make the next episode a little longer. Uh, I have something I have to do in the morning tomorrow, but, you know, real life stuff. You don't care about that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. And with that, goodbye!